If nature is the heartbeat of Nairobi, then religion must be its soul. And if it's Sunday, then it's time for church. Good morning. Welcome to our service. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. And I've come to visit one of the biggest in the city. Jubilee Christian Church Parklands, Nairobi's Church of Excellence, it says. And here I'm going to meet Reverend Kathy Kiuna. Good morning. This mega complex, I'm told, started in a restaurant with just 10 people back in 1999. When Reverend Kathy Kiuna founded the Jubilee Christian Church with her husband, the Bishop Alan Kiuna. Thank you for inviting us and thank you for allowing us to come. Thank you for coming. You're, you're resplendent in your Sunday best. Thank you. Today, they say, the church's membership has reached 10,000, and it has more than a dozen branches outside of Nairobi. 82% of Kenyans are Christian, and so it's a very uh, Christian nation. If you ask the big percentage of, of the, the youth, we'll talk about their faith first. And so it's a big thing in Kenya. Even before delivering her sermon, you can feel the reverend's religious fervor. In the name that is above every other name, we bow before your throne. I was born in Nairobi, and Nairobi is the most amazing city. Why? It's very beautiful. The Nairobians, they make Nairobi, because Nairobians are very happy, thriving, excited human beings. They are so vibrant. They are so with it. They live for real. We live life. It's not a rehearsal. Something new that God is putting in your life. He put a new soul. Vibrant is too tame to describe this church. The music is thunderous as she leads the church in worship. And then in prayer, her preaching is commanding. So when people are looking at this big armor and this tall man and getting afraid because uh, 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 Goliath was big, David was thinking, you're too big to miss. What goes through your mind as you're doing it? The whole desire even for preaching is for, to see changed lives, to see God use me to be able to impact lives and change them for the better. If anybody tell you, tells you you're not good looking, they need glasses. They need to go to the optician for a checker because you are good looking. Yeah. If you're a man, just do like this. Yeah. It's a message she wants to take beyond Nairobi, despite critics who question her message as prosperity gospel. And the critics think she and her husband, the bishop, lead too much of a lavish lifestyle. When you hear the criticism of you, and you hear the criticism of your, your husband, you've seen the criticisms about your personal lives, what hurts you? It really doesn't hurt, because if you don't know me, you're gonna say things. You can be, uh, you know, well off, but that doesn't mean that you're not humble. I think I am a very humble human being, but I believe that God has called us to live life and live well. I'd like the church to grow. We are actually believing to go into 80,000 and 100,000 and more because we see young people's lives changed and that's what it's all about. All of which means Nairobi must be on your list for World of Wonder. <laughs>